Guys, I'm sorry about all these clothes, but these are for school and stuff. My mom's keeping them on my dresser right now. She's getting ready to put them in there in my closet. But my shit. Get in here. Okay, this is just showing you guys what I've got, what I have now, and an update on my coins and stuff. Where? Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I did get a safe. Okay, first thing we're gonna look at. Don't bother about this. The this over here. Actually, first you can look at this little thing here. Okay. <laughs> first things first. This. The United States 2019 proof set. First, this thing didn't come in there for some reason. It's a 2019 West Point. It is still uncirculated. I used um, special gloves to put it in here, and it is still uncirculated, and it's held tight so it doesn't get any scratches. Straight out of the mint, 2019 West Point. Okay, then... We can't open the box, we just can't get the coins out of the container. So let me get these out real quick, and then I'll get back. Hey okay, guys, just to show you this is real, this is the Certificate of Authenticity proving that this is real. And here they are, there's two. Let's start with the quarters. We got the new 2019 quarters uncirculated proof. And here are the different styles. And we got the most common. These are all the quarters. The new year quarters. They're all here. That's why there's not a quarter in this one. Okay, then next we have the new every the new fifty cent pieces, pennies and everything. Start out with the dime, with the front of the dime. Focus. Here, it's a Denver. I mean, actually, sorry, I'm wrong. These are all San Francisco's. Twenty nineteen. Second year. Right. Here's the reverse of these coins. The reverse of the 50 cent piece. Dime. Penny. The uh, Sacagawea. They have completely different backs now. And the nickel. Okay, that's all for the 2019 proof mint and set with the West Point Penny. I'll go. I'm gonna put this up and we'll go get our next thing. Okay, putting these down. What do we got next? Let's get my vanishing coin color. Oh, actually, no, you guys already know about that. We got nothing in there. Okay, it's all full. Okay, let's get in this bag. I'll get. Let's get in here. This is. Um, this is just a bag from Kenny National Bank. But I'll get everything sorted out. And I'll come back. Guys, I got it all sorted out. First, let's start with our Canadian coins. And there are more of these, but these are the newer ones. Let's get them out. And then, I'll, well, actually, you guys know what's in here. It's just newer Canadians. No, nothing wrong or anything. We got our silver quarters. I did actually find one. We went to a laundry room with my pap, and I found a 1964 silver quarter. Then, uncirculated 1959 silver quarter. And a 1958 in pretty good condition. Then, my, then I'm going to start keeping these older quarters, too. This is just a 1965. Then next... Here are some coins I really don't know what they're from or anything. We got this weird one. 
We got these. It's just a whole bunch of weird coins. From weird different places. Like this one, it kind of just looks like two reverses or something. Or this weird one. I really don't know what any of these are. If you guys do, comment down below what these are. There's a five cents of that. These are ten cents, by the way. Or ten whatever is there. Okay, next we got this bicentennial quarter. Fair condition. Here we got this French. Looks like ten cents or ten dollar coin. It is from nineteen sixteen. After that, we got our Buffalo Head Nickels, which I will take these on show you. And I'm going to right about now. Okay, here we go, guys. Um, here's one. Most of these, I don't have the, the don't have a date. But there is one that does. These are, I've literally, I believe it's this one. Yeah, this one. This is San Francisco. I literally found this one. These I bought, and this one my teacher gave me. This is the only one with a date. It's in 1936. Then we got no dates. I believe these don't have a mint. And this is a no date with a San Francisco mint. Okay, put these back in the bag. Okay, now these are the Canadian coins and wheat bags that I'm actually going to take out and show you. I'll show you them real quick. Right about. Oh, sorry. Actually, never mind. I'm just going to open them. I'll just pop them over. Starting off with the old Canadians, I only have six. I have uh, 1959 Young Head, a 56, 262s. A 1957 and a 1950 King George the Fifth. All of these are young heads. These five and this six and this is a King George the Sixth. Then extra wheat bags that don't go in my penny book, which I will show you guys too. Let me take them out, sort them, and I'll get them. Here, as you guys can see, I just have a lot of extra wheat bags. These are all wheat. Oh, yeah. There's some wheat bags. See, just wheat bags all over the place. Then I'll put this up and we'll get on to the next thing. Okay, there's your put up. Oh, actually, the next thing is these three Siberian coins my Pat Mark gave me because he went to war and he found these along the way. They have a, about the same. Front or back, I don't know what it is, but then the back or front is different for all of them, except this. These two. These two are, like, they're the exact same, almost. But they're, this one has, like... Do you like me to make... Are you okay, them? This one has, like, I don't know, eight or ten sides, and this one doesn't, is a circle. Okay, next thing after I pop. Sorry about that. I just had to go for a second, guys. Well, I'm back now. Got this uncirculated proof 2005 Buffalo Quarter. I had a Buffalo Nickel. It's not, and a lot of people get confused with these. But an easy way to tell is if you look at this nickel and look at a normal Buffalo Nickel. Here, I'll just get one out to show you guys literally. Just show you guys a comparison. We got the new 2005 Buffalo Head Nickel, and then the old one. Now, if you look, the buffaloes are turned the different sides, and this one's a lot smaller. And the head is completely different. This you have like an Indian, and this is the Jefferson. 
Thomas Jefferson. So that's an easy way to tell the difference between an old and a new. If all you have to, should have, really have to do is look at the head for, uh, but you still get mixed up. Then yeah, and these are just older nickels, like they're from 1959 down to. Well, I think 39, because I have not found a 38 yet, which they're rare. Next is a Bicentennial 50 cent piece. Three pennies, wheat back pennies. I have in cases that are extras. Just have them in there because they're my older ones. Here we got a 19, 1940. A 1946 and a 1944. Next, we have this, um, this dollar. Oh, I forget what it's called. The, um, oh. Oh, it's, um, well, comment down below. I forget the name. I know what it is, but we have it. Next, we have these Karamat. Yeah, we have these. Here are two about Donald Trump, which these will actually be collectors eventually. And here's one about the World War One. Um, cement. It's like a commemorative coin, and that's. All from that bag. Okay, on to the next thing. Now that they're all put up, let's put them down there. Let's move this stuff. This is just AirPods and that. But here, let's move on to my bills. I only have four, so. Yeah. These two, I only keep them because, um,. My gram gave me them, and they're pretty old. This one is at least. This is a 95, and this is just the 2013. But my grams gave me them, so I kept them. Um, next we have this silver certificate, one dollar bill from 1935. It's a D. It's a silver certificate. And then I did not only keep this for one, but two reasons. First, if you look at the serial, it's 0222-5444. That's pretty nice. It has that, and then it's also a star note. It's only from 2013, but it's a star note after that nice serial code, too. So, those are my bills. I only have four. And let's move on to my penny collection. Okay. Now here, with the first one, it's completely full. Goes from seventy five to twenty thirteen with all mint marks. Completely full. Next we have forty one to seventy four. Some are wheat, some aren't. Here, all this one. We got a steel penny. And we got some oldies in here. But the, in this book, it's not the oldest one I've ever found. It's in the next book down. Here. I'm only one penny off. 1973S is the only penny that I need. And I'm done with Lincoln Memorial pennies for good. Then I got all these wheat back pennies that I need to fill up. This page is almost done though. I only need one. Seven. And I'll be done with it. That page. But this page, I still got a lot of work to do. I have got some new ones, especially like that nice steel penny. And on to the next book. Okay, this is where it starts getting pretty old. My pack got me a 1909 BDB. They are pretty rare. Then we have a 16 and a 1917. 
1919, and my oldest penny I've ever found is a 1919, but it's a San Francisco 1919S. This uh, it's very worn, but you can see there is a mail mark, and it is an S. See. Yeah. Look how rubbed that second 19 is. But then we have a 1927, 1930, 1935, Denver, 1936, 37, 38, 39, and 40. So, this book really is going to take a long time. And Flying Eagle and Indian Heads. This is the one I'm most excited about to tell you. I got a 1858 large date Flying Eagle for graduation. It's very nice, but it is a flying eagle. It is so nice. Like, I love it. You have nothing on this page. Like, literally nothing. And then uh, this page, we do have a few. You got an 1888, 1890, 1897, and then 1907. And that is the summary of these. You know about my, you know about my Europe's Vanishing Coin collection, so I ain't gonna tell you guys about that again. That's all for the video. Get this all set back up. How it was. And close her up. And I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Um, I've showed you all of the updates for my coin collections, and I believe that soon I might be. I'm going to start saving up for a nickel book, too, so I can start collecting nickels, and that'll give us more nickel roll hunting videos, since I've only done two. And that, then I'm sure you guys will like that if you like my penny videos. And goodbye.